We have so many questions. Great. Okay, let's go for Lana, we questions. love having you here. Thank you so much for oh, taking time to be to here. Be here. Um, Along the lines of what we were talking about, about vulnerability, um, again, Elle Woods was continuing her question, speaking specifically about uh, women in negotiation. And I'll actually add on and try to be a little bit vulnerable here. Um, I am sure that there are things that I do as a man when I am talking to women unintentionally um, that are belittling or in other ways, yeah. like minimizing their contributions. Yep. Mm -hmm. How can we be, how can A, how can I be aware and not do those things in the future, and B, how can um, the, the women that are being minimized in that way react to that in a way that doesn't anger people, that doesn't sabotage the negotiation? How can they recover from that? Smile. <laughs> it breaks it. You know, it, it, it breaks the tension because you may not intend to send a message that I receive as offensive. No, I don't think... I can't think of any men who deliberately say offensive things to me. I, I really don't. But sometimes say, people say things and I think, what? <laughs> if you, can, if you, if you quite catch it that quick, you can just say, what? Or I didn't understand that and give him a chance to recover, which is usually what, what, what they want to do. The other person doesn't use, there are very few people who want to go out and hurt somebody, you know, especially in you know, in this kind of situation, they just don't. So I assume it's an accident. If it's in a personal relationship and it's just something your partner or friend says, just say, ouch. They get it. It doesn't have to be dissected. But in a more professional situation, you know, you can just smile and say, well, in my situation, you know, I do have more experience than that. Or you can push back with, well, what I'm here for is, and, and go from that point of view. You know, what I'm really here for is to talk to you about the scope of the job, and I do have experience in this range of it. So you come back, but give yourself a minute with that smile, because, and take a deep breath, because that gets you out of that fight-flight mode. So breathing, take a minute, set back, and then answer, because now you're not defensive, because you've taken a nice deep breath, right? Now you're back in control of you, at least. You can't control the other person, but you sure can control you, and that's what you want to do. So, and the same with men. If they do something that's not going, you know, that sounds, sounds like something different than they intended to say, you can say, you know, I didn't really mean it to sound like that. Really, really, what I'm curious about is more about your level of experience. So I, th I think you just set the tone. And women are very good at setting the emotional tone. I mean, really, these guys aren't going to hurt you. And, well, they might, but you've been hurt before. That's kind of a normal part of life. So just whoosh, breathe and let it go. And move on back to your point. Get back to yourself. Don't get pushed off in somebody else's bad day. 